It's peace simple. The revolution will be digitized. I did a lot in this life, so if I don't survive, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Beats by Pete Samples. Hello, welcome to the Real Talk Session Series. I am Taryn Morgan, the founder and content creator. I've been working in higher education for eight and a half years professionally, and prior to that, I was a resident assistant. During my years of being in the field, I've done uh, emergency on call. So I've dealt with students having suicidal ideation, homemade weapons, domestic violence, etc. Outside of that, um, I have previous experience of doing videography for over 10 years. Um, I'm probably the first person in New Jersey to do videography, to be honest. Ask about me. I interned at High 97. Shout out to Jeff Thacker. Bro, I appreciate you big time. My experiences include recording interviews for former High 97 radio personality Angie Martinez. So during that time frame, I met The Dream, Drake when he first came out, two of the Kardashian sisters, etc. I did Summer Jam, the year that Jay-Z dropped Death of Autotune. I was right there on stage filming him. Also, I did a few concerts for Funkmaster Flex for his Legend series. Fun fact, Red Man threw a bottle of water at my camera. Didn't hit me, so I didn't care. <laughs> but uh, that's one of the fun times that I had at Hot 97. I've done freelance video for Morgan State University, specifically with the Office of Residence Life and Housing. And also I do freelance video for anyone. I do weddings, I do commercials, whatever you need, you name it. And one of my specialties is taking people's vision and really putting it into reality. The Real Talk Session Series was birthed on November 15th, 2017 when I interviewed Dr. Wendy Osefo at a higher education institution. 2018, I experienced depression and anxiety for the first time that were caused by work stressors. Not really gonna go into it, but yeah. During this time frame, um, I really was in the darkest period of my life ever um, to the point where I even wanted to kill myself. But luckily for me, I have a strong support system and God had my back throughout the whole period. Um, for me, a lot of my past and my wrongs were exposed and also just a lot of the, the ugly sides of me that I didn't realize that I had or what I was doing. Um, and for me, I saw this period as a necessary evil. Um, I'm not a re religious person, but I will refer to God because that's the reason why I got to this point right now. But um, I really consider this point in time as a awakening for me, almost like a phoenix. I literally was dead inside and out of nowhere, God just got in me when I was crying for help. And she sparked the idea of the Real Talk Session Series and developed it into something bigger than what it originally was. And when you get those signs from God, you better listen. And ever since I've been listening, I've been getting little winks and nudges that I'm on the right path. And every time I step out of my comfort zone, I succeed and I get some kind of reward. Hence why I'm on this camera. I actually hate cameras, but I tell my students all the time that growth requires you to step out of your comfort zone and try something new, even if it ter terrifies you. If it terrifies you, then that's when you know that it's the right thing for you. And once you conquer it, it's just a rush of happiness, excitement, and bring the next challenge on because I'm ready to conquer it. So this is a form of my therapy, my self-care, me helping other people because during that time frame, I felt like I was the only one. But little did I know that there were many people around me and people that I did not know that are going through the same exact thing. So I wanted to be able to help them with what they're going through and also really just spread the education because in communities of color, there's a lack of education and there's a stigma when it comes to mental health issues. This is a form of community service. This is something new that I'm sure that you've never seen because I know I haven't seen and I've done a lot of research. One thing that I really want to focus on is helping black men because a lot of us are, have been taught a lot of problematic things 
that have been passed down through the generations. And sometimes we feel like, oh, we can't change what we've been taught or the things that we've gone through our environment. No, you absolutely are allowed to evolve. There is no rule saying that you have to stay in this one position. As a highly educated straight black man that has no record and that is not problematic, I recognize that I have respective privileges that some people don't have. Consequently, I have been committed to using my privileges and will continue to be in order to fight the inequalities that people of lesser privileged groups face, especially black women in the LGBT community. So for me, I saw that that positive representation and vulnerability of black men speaking about issues that we know we don't speak about was something that was missing and the media definitely was not providing that look that's missing. So for me, I wanted to fill that void and that's why I created the Real Talk Session series. I am not a mental health professional, but I do know some stuff through my education and also my self-research and through my experience as an educator. I will be having some psychologists and psychiatrists on board to speak about issues and other people who I deem to be knowledgeable or experts in their particular field. And we will not be talking about all mental health related issues. This is more so to provide free education and entertainment to people of color because necessarily you don't need a university, a college, a school to help you get to where you want to be. Knowledge is free, you just have to be able to go out and seek it. And sometimes we do get a little lazy. I was lazy at one point too, but you know, once that clicked with me, I was like, okay, I gotta get moving and let me help my people out definitely. So this is why I'm doing this. This is my form of community service to help in those areas. However, I do know some stuff. Enough bragging, enough bragging. But please note that I am not perfect. I am not perfect. I am not perfect. But trust, the only thing perfect over here is this body. That's a nice body, brother. Why thank you, my brother? That beard is struggling on. Yeah, give me a few months. Give me a few months. With that Beijing. No Beijing. No Beijing. So on a serious note, uh, it took me a while to get to this point many, many, many years. Um, on my journey, I have damaged a lot of women emotionally. I've told a lot of inappropriate jokes to those people who I've offended or emotionally damaged due to my immaturity or lack of emotional intelligence. I sincerely apologize. And the best way of apologizing is change of behavior and also preventing other men and other people who are going through those same things I've done who are damaging people in the same ways and really showing them the right way of doing things. Again, in communities of color, there's certain problematic narratives that are passed through the generations and we are going to break this curse. And it starts with me, it starts with everyone else. We all have to do our work respectively. Trust, karma has come back and bit me in the ass, which you will hear about in the future. Now, I do know some big words, but I don't know all of them. I do have issues spelling definitely. It's a little struggle. But if there's any inaccuracies that you see, please let me know because I don't wanna be out here giving the wrong information out to people because that is extremely dangerous and we see that often in the media. So I wanna make sure that there's a system of accountability. But if you correct me, please provide me with reliable sources so that I can properly give you credit and address the inaccuracy that I put out there. So I know there's been a lot of confusion of what the Real Talk Session series is. Consider the Real Talk Session series to be a voice for the voiceless, a platform for those who are feeling frustrations to get that out. We will be promoting positive images of people of color and we will be providing content that is catered towards underserved and underrepresented populations. This is also a hub for creatives or anyone in general to take their ideas, their dreams, etc., and turn them into reality with our help. Please make sure you're following us at Real Talk Session Series on Instagram and other social media platforms so that you can stay informed. Follow our music director, Pete Samples Music 732, and also please feel free to hit him up for any of your beats needs. And we will try to post new content every Wednesday night. And I'm going to leave you on this last note. This is a quote by Tupac. I'm not saying that I will change the world, but I guarantee I will spark the mind that will. Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized.